If you like the following content, please leave a tip at buymeacoffee forward slash Whitley. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, esteemed viewers and fellow knowledge seekers to the enthralling narrative within the mysterious realms of technology investment investigations. This channel serves as a guiding light for those venturing into the intricate landscapes of the biopharmaceutical venture. Now before delving into the intricate narrative of Cassava Sciences, we'll extend a sincere invitation for you to join our community. Please subscribe to stay updated and express your support through your likes. Your engagement, as always, propels our ongoing investigative odyssey. Now, to get the background to this company, we'll need to travel back to the 1990s to unfold the captivating narrative scripted by Cassava Sciences under the stewardship of Remy Barbier. A biotechnological ballet guided by Barbier's visionary leaderships takes centre stage. However, recent revelations from the CUNY investigation cast shadows on the scientific liberato, challenging the very integrity of its journey. Warren Buffett's financial acumen prompted us to investigate the risks and rewards entwined in Casper's narrative, as Remy Barbier strives to lead the company through both controversies and breakthroughs. We'll find ourselves witnessing the unfolding drama of this biopharmaceutical saga. So before we start a SWOT analysis, we'll go through the financial intricacies of the company and we'll study the company's financial ability to weather storms of uncertainty and whether it remains formidable amongst the financial seas. Okay, so if we go back briefly, uh, comparing this year to last year, uh, the cash reserves have, have decreased substantially um, from 174 million to 142 million this year. Um, a big chunk of this is put down to R&D development for their um, Alzheimer's um, treatment, uh, which is called Simufilam. Uh, over the past few years, this has gone through a phase three trial recently, uh, which has over 650 patients enrolled in the studies, um, which was initiated sometime around 2021 with uh, the FDA special protocol assessment. Um, this has gone through previous uh, phase two treatments, which uh, included the cognitive maintenance study, which was around May 2021, um, and the results were completed sometime around summer this year, which is, I think why there was a bit of a, a jump in um, interest in the company. Um, so in essence, Casper Sciences has faced a reduction in cash and increase in net loss over the past year. However, the phase three trials are promising and the studies position them for significant development ahead. So as an average everyday trader, how are we gonna get our head around this company? If we look at the academic overtures that once adorned CASA for sciences, they find themselves entangled in a web of intricate scientific scrutiny. The CUNY investigation accuses key collaborator Hao Yang Wang of scientific misconduct. This questions the very foundation of Simu Filan's journey from lab to clinical studies. As the once esteemed dance of academia falters on the precipice of credibility, our questions arise about the validity of the research papers. The academic foundations, once stalwart, now crumble in the face of scepticism, casting doubt on their core product's potential. So what we'll do is we'll do the strengths, the weaknesses of the company, and then we'll move on to the opportunities that the company has in the market, and of course the threats, which given this company's history recently, could be substantial. Now, amidst a storm, Cassifer's strengths emerge as formidable pillars of resilience. Remy Barbier's leadership stands as a steadfast force, steadfast force, steadfast force, striving to weather both scientific and market tempests. Now, the company's fortitude, though under scrutiny, reveals a robust foundation. So, as we scrutinize the strengths, we'll witness a company at crossroads, teetering on the edge of potential success. These clinical trials which have been successful up to so far, if we believe the academic scrutiny is correct and the company is actually doing what it says it is, then we have a potential product that can treat Alzheimer's going forward. This is very, very promising. And from an investor's point of view, this makes, even if you're not gonna get dividends from the company, it certainly makes it promises for a value point of view. 
over a long period. Okay, so the City University of New York, or CUNY, this investigation from them uh, has unraveled a disturbing allegations of manipulated data which is sending shockwaves to the scientific landscape. This puts a real problem on whether the product they put forward, the semifarlin, is actually capable of doing what it says it does. And as with a lot of companies in the world who want to make a big change, this could cause a lot of problems for everybody. So if we look at Warren Buffett's counsel, um, he would urge investors to exercise prudence amidst, amidst the brood storm. These vulnerabilities, whether in scientific integrity or market turbulence, demand scrutiny. The company itself needs to water the introspection that's gonna come from this and be able to prove beyond shadow of doubt the value of the product they're putting forward only do this through testing and it can only do this as it very slowly hits the market can't do it before it hits the market but so far the tests are coming back relatively positive it's just whether there is actually kind of fake data in there where somebody's got a bit over optimistic or over helpful and trying to push forward something that might not be market ready as an investor this could potentially put your investments at risk So if we look at the Maelstrom challenges, the opportunities, they're starting to flicker like distant stars. The clinical trials, albeit under the shadow of suspicion of academic failure and fraud, will strive to define the Alzheimer's treatment. It's a haunting spectre and the Cooney report was going to linger for a long time, long past the position in which the actual product, let's say if it hit the market, passed all the tests, um, was completely market ready any problems in the future people will be looking back at this thinking well actually what was done about that fraud properly so with supportive regulatory framework if realized may facilitate an exp expedited expedited drug development the success of the clinical trials could present lucrative market opportunities of course there's Alzheimer's is one of the biggest fears out there for everybody after cancer most people are terrified that that's what, how they're going to end up as they grow older. And if it's a treatment, most people go for it, I would have thought. So if we address the unmet medical needs and how these align with the social, societal well-being, the advancements in the drug discovery technologies could open new possibilities and new avenues for new products going everywhere. The environmental initiatives aligning with the drug development could enhance the corporate image anything positive you didn't have to greenwash this completely given everything that went on with the uh, recent lockdowns and the cause of the lockdowns and the treatments for the lockdowns most medical companies are under a lot more scrutiny than they were previously and there's a lot of paranoia out there so if you can get past all that then they've got a great great future ahead of them so with the regulatory approvals if achieved this will pay the way pave the way for market entry substantial growth which will be seen in the share price. Now the threats, the threats to the company. Once distant rumbles, these are now thunder ominously all around them. The allegations of manipulated data, the investigations and the calls for trial suspensions pose existential threats, not only to the company, but to the development of the drug itself. The prudent gaze scrutiny emphasizes the need for vigilance a vigilant stance against Christopher and it navigates has it navigates the turbulent waters of the scientific integrity and the market turbulence that will result from it the regulatory interventions and legal consequences will loom significant threats this company has an interesting point where it's not just rivals that could come in with a superior drug everything they have the entire threat of the market lies with them so any market volatility and investor skepticism, skepticism, skepticism will jeopardize its financial stability. Any loss of public trust may impede acceptance and market success, as I've previously stated. The technological scrutiny intensifies the impact of scientific credibility issues. Ethical lapses, such as the ones that they're investigating, will contribute to the environmental threats in the corporate landscape. By environmental threats, I mean as other companies want to deal with them. Most medical companies, and we're talking in America, we're talking privatized hospitals, privatized medical care, 
won't want to touch them for, for anything. There'll be no insurance that will, will handle this product if it gets everything wrong. So while the regularly heard of some potential trial suspensions loom large, what's going to happen next? That's the question. So in conclusion, Casper Sciences has a very good potential cure treatment, however you want to describe it, for one of the most feared diseases that all of us could potentially develop as we get older, and that's Alzheimer's. So as the curtain descends on, the, on whether this company can get through in one piece, for them to weather the storm of unwavering resolve and seek calmer waters, their unfolding narrative of Casa for Sciences is not merely one of a biotech odyssey, but one of resilient skepticism and a potential redemption. This CUNY investigation is a hopefully a temptress uh, interlude and this will invite investors to ponder on the ethical ties of scientific credibility, not only of this investment, but of other investments. So whether Cassava will emerge as a phoenix or succumb to the undertow remains a shrouded uncertainty in the financial and scientific future. Now, if we look at the usual rules of Warren Buffett, and I don't know why I've started to use Warren Buffett's rules, he would say probably avoid this like the plague. Anything that has this kind of uncertainty, this kind of gut value panic about it, it would be well worth kind of just parking it up on one side. Now, if you're watching this channel, you're probably a day trader more than anything else. You might do long term, but you're probably just a day trader. Now, there's going to be a lot of volatility in this as the different studies come and go, and more and more people kind of look at the company and think, ah, they're doing really well, and then others look at it and go, ah, but they've got all this. So that price is going to jump up and down a lot more as we get closer and closer to the treatments hitting the marketplace. So if you're a day trader, it might be worth looking at. But as a long-term trader, I wouldn't go anywhere near it. Um, this is a potential disaster loomed all over it. And the amount of tech companies that fall under purely because of simple, silly mistakes or our extravagance interference and unethical measures to get to the end to win it's not worth your money but it's entirely up to you good luck with them i do generally hope that this is a great product and they do get to cut to market but from a day trader's point of view from a small investor's point of view you can't really afford to lose anything leave this guy up to i would leave this to the big guys let them deal with the consequences so thank you for watching this episode. As you can probably hear, I've got a bit of a cold and I've been sniffing a little bit through this. Thank you for watching the episode. I'm always grateful, as always. Now, if you've not been a subscriber, please subscribe. Hit the like button to show your approval and hit the notification, whatever, so that I can show you more videos in the future. So until next time, I will come up with a new company which would actually be worth your time. If you've not seen any of the videos, go back, watch them, and that's it for now. I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. If you enjoyed my content, please support this channel by visiting buymeacoffee forward slash Whitley, or scan the QR code to leave a tip.